passing through the appliances is also negligible so when fault is occur over here then appliance can withstand the fault same way if fault is occur over here again it is zero value again it is zero value same way for this region if you are consider a region like this so this is the region in which the magnitude of alternating quantity is very less and the current passing through the appliances is easily withstand by the connected appliances now when you are considering about dc supply suppose it is 500 volt or 220 volt then initial value is 220 volt whenever fault is occur then at each and every instant your voltage is 220 volt then your appliance should be withstand this much voltage for a whole period of time but while you are considering the ac supply there is some period for which the current passing through the appliances is very less so during fault condition there is no damage to the appliances but in dc it is not possible so ac appliances and motor are more durable and dc appliances and motors are less durable these are the comparison between ac and dc now we are discuss about generation of alternating voltage as we are discuss earlier to generate alternating voltage you required a source which is capable to reversing the direction so how we can generate the alternating voltage for that you have to consider one circuit now we are considering one rectangular coil having n number of turns and area is equal to a meter square and we are assume that this coil is rotating in a uniform magnetic field with an angular velocity of omega okay now now generation of alternating voltage as shown in figure the red blocks are indicate the number of coils red blocks are indicate the permanent magnets and the middle part this part will indicate the coil we are inserting this coil between this two electromagnet as we know magnetic field is produced between n and s and we are providing a coil between this two according to the number of figure we are changing the position of coil in first case position of coil is a for figure b you are changing the position same way in figure c you are changing a position d again we are changing the position and for e we are back to initial position now whenever you change the position of coil what happen to the alternating emm that we have to discuss so for that we have to derive the equation for induced emf okay now as shown in figure this first figure will indicate the coil having n number of turns and we are placed this coil between this two electromagnet and and s will indicate the electromagnets as we know magnetic field magnetic field is produced between this two we are placed a whole coil between this two electromagnet like this okay this is the reference position x x dash and this is position y y dash now initially we are assume that our coil is placed in a reference point means x x dash position okay when you are considering that coil is x x dash position then what ha what happen the magnetic field is produced between n to s and your coil is placed in x x dash position then flux linkage by the particular coil is maximum because the maximum area of the coil is connect with the magnetic field so the amount of flux link with the coil for x x dash is maximum so when coil is placed in x x dash position maximum flux phi m phi m will indicate the maximum flux will cut by the coil or you can say the maximum flux will link with the coil
ओके नाउ वी आर चेंज द पोजिशन ऑफ कॉइल फ्रॉम एक्स एक्स डैश टू वाई वाई डैश वेन यू आर चेंज द पोजिशन ऑफ कॉइल एट वाई वाई डैश देन वॉट हैपन अगेन आई विल शो द फिगर ओके दिस इज योर फिगर नाउ वेन यू आर प्लेस्ड योर कॉइल इन वाई वाई डैश पोजिशन एंड योर फील्ड इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बिटवीन एन एंड एस इन अ वर्टिकल डायरेक्शन देन वॉट हैपन द एरिया ऑफ द कॉइल विच इज कनेक्टेड विद द फील्ड इज मिनिमम बिकॉज इट इज ऑल्सो प्लेस्ड इन अ वर्टिकल पोजिशन दो द एरिया ऑफ द कॉइल विच इज कनेक्टेड विद द फील्ड इज मिनिमम और यू कैन से इट इज निग्लिजिबल सो यू कैन कंसिडर इट एज अ जीरो सो फ्लक्स लिंकेज बाय द कॉइल वेन इट इज प्लेस्ड इन वाई वाइड एस पोजिशन इज जीरो ओके सो वेन कॉइल इज एट वाई वाइड एस पोजिशन फ्लक्स लिंकेज बाय द कॉइल इज जीरो सो द फ्लक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो फॉर वाई वाइड एस पोजिशन now again if you are start your coil coil rotate from x x dash position then when you are change the position of coil accordingly your flux linkage by the coil is decreases because the area of the coil contact with the fill will be less so the flux linkage by the coil is decreases now we are considering any instant t where your coil placed from the reference axis as shown in figure okay this position of the coil is at any instant t we are assuming that at instant t our coil is placed like this now we are assume that the angle of the coil from the reference axis is theta at this particular instant angle of the coil from the reference axis is theta and we have to find the whatever the emf induced by the coil for this particular position okay so at any instant the coil rotates through an angle theta as shown in figure so angular velocity which is equal to angular displacement divided by time so angular velocity is denoted by omega angular displacement for a particular instant is theta and time taken to complete this revolution is t so omega is equal to theta by t or you can rewrite the equation in form of theta like theta is equal to omega into t so this is the relationship between theta and the angular velocity okay now for this particular position flux linking with the coil at this instant phi is equal to phi m phi m is the maximum flux which is in the x x dash position and cos omega t is the component of flux which is in the direction of the coil so phi is equal to phi m cos omega t now at initial point when your coil is at x x dash position your omega t is equal to 0 because x x dash is our reference axis so at this particular axis your reference from reference to your axis is 0 so omega t is equal to 0 coil is along the x x dash position and phi is equal to phi m into cos 0 because our angle is 0 so phi is equal to phi m cos 0 as we know cos 0 is equal to 1 so phi is equal to phi m now as we are discuss from the figure that when your coil is in x x dash position your flux is maximum same thing we are prove using the equation okay your flux is maximum when your coil is at x x dash position now when we are change the position of coil it is at y y dash or you can say omega t is equal to 90 degree and coil is at y y dash so your phi is equal to phi m cos 90 because angle between the coil and the reference axis is 90 so phi is equal to phi m cos 90 which is equal to 0 so it will indicate that when your coil is at 90 degree or at your coil is at y y dash your flux is equal to 
zero. As we are discussed from the figure, same thing we will from the equation. So this is about flux. Now, as we are discussed earlier. the flux phi is equal to phi m cos omega t this is for a single turn coin if we are considering that our coil having n number of turns then you can rewrite the equation of flux like this that n phi n is the number of turns of the coil n into phi is equal to n phi m cos omega t initially we will write the equation phi is equal to phi m cos omega t for a single turn now we are considering for n turn coils so it is equal to n phi is equal to n phi m cos omega t now according to faraday's law induce emf e which is equal to minus d by dt n into phi volt now this n is the number of turns and phi is the flux which is induced by a magnetic field so this equation will indicate that the induced emf is always in the opposite direction of the rate of change of flux this minus sign indicate the direction of induced emf and rate of change of flux is always opposite to each other this thing we will prove after this derivation so equation of flux is known so you can rewrite this equation like this it is equal to d by dt n equation of phi is phi m cos omega t so it is n phi m cos omega t now n is the number of turns so it is constant phi m is the maximum flux which is constant so you have to differentiate this equation only for cos omega t so differentiation of cos omega t is omega sin omega t and it is minus so this minus and this minus is cancel out so your final equation of induced emf is equal to omega n phi m sin omega t volt okay so induced emf would be maximum when omega t is equal to 90 or you can say that when your coil is at y y dash position so at your coil is at y y dash position then your sin omega t is equal to 1 so your em is equal to omega n phi m sin 90 so sin 90 is nothing but 1 so your em is equal to omega n phi m means maximum emf is induced as we are discussed earlier when your coil is at y y dash position flux linkage by the coil is zero but the emf induced by the coil is maximum so it will shows that when your flux is zero your emf is maximum means the direction of emf and the flux induced is always in reverse direction okay same way here em is denoted by maximum induced emf omega is nothing but your angular velocity which is equal to 2 pi f and unit of omega is radian per second now phi m indicate the maximum flux induced which is equal to bm into a here bm is the maximum flux density and a is the area of the coil and unit of the flux is weber now maximum emf em is equal to 2 pi f 2 pi f is nothing but the omega so you can put the value of omega in this equation em is equal to omega n phi m so omega is equal to 2 pi f so em is equal to 2 pi f into n n is your number of turns into bm it is your flux density and into a which is the area of the coil so this is the equation for maximum induced emf em which is equal to 2 pi f n bm into a now we are considering the induced emf at particular instant t which is denoted by e which is equal to omega n phi m sin omega t okay now omega and phi m is nothing but the maximum induced emf em so which is equal to omega and phi m so you can rewrite this equation like this 
is equal to em sin omega t volt okay we will derive the equation for a alternating voltage same way you can derive the equation for alternating current so it is like this i is equal to im sin omega t and unit is ampere okay so whenever you derive the equation for alternating emf so first of all consider any coil having n number of turn and place this coil in a magnetic field then change the position of coil and accordingly you get the induced emf at a particular instant and finally you get the alternating voltage or alternating current according to your requirement so to show this derivation i will show one figure okay so in this figure in part a initially your coil is an x x dash position okay this is our x x dash position so at this particular position flux linkage by the coil is maximum but emf induced by the coil is equal to zero so it will shows in the diagram okay this zero point indicate the a position when your coil is at a position flux linkage by the coil is maximum but the emf induced by the coil is equal to zero so it will indicate zero position now for figure b when you are change the position from x x dash to y y dash then what happen the flux linkage of the coil is zero but emf induced by the coil is maximum which is indicated by this this maximum value indicate the emf induced by the coil at point b same way again change the position of coil again it will get it again it will get zero value and if again you are change the position of coil it will give you the maximum value but it is in the negative direction because we are changing the direction of rotation so it will give you the maximum value but it is in a negative direction again back to zero so this is the generation of alternating voltage using magnetic field and changing the position of coil with respect to time